Technician 775 here. This afternoon we're going to be canning up or putting in uh, mason jars some instant non-fat dry milk. Uh, I've got 25 pound bags of powdered milk from LDS. Uh, I just wanted something to put in mason jars so whenever I'm cooking, uh, making bread and some of the other things that take just maybe a quarter of a cup, a half a cup uh, and, and such as that just to have that available. And the stuff that comes in these boxes like this, one number one is high as a cat's back anymore. I was at Sam's Club and I uh, went to buy a, a four or five pound box and uh, after I picked myself up off the floor I decided not to buy it. So what I did, I went in and just bought, went ahead and bought um, some uh, just a box of the great value right here and I'm going to put it in mason jars. This is a four pound box. I'm not really sure how much is going to fit in the mason jars. I guess we'll find out together and I'm just going to take and run my uh, food saver and uh, vacuum seal it. Uh, vacuum seal that. So okay let's get started. We'll see how much we're going we're gonna to have here. Hopefully this video don't take too long. I'll have uh, the other stuff ready to go. Um, it shouldn't take real long, you know, but uh, the price of this uh, powdered milk is just going through the roof. Uh, Sam's Club uh, years ago had it uh, were a fairly, uh, fairly decent price. Uh-oh, okay. Now, I guess, you know, I could probably take and try to refrain from having milk all over the uh, cabin in here. One thing about this powdered milk versus the uh, powdered milk at LDS, this milk right here, for I guess for customer or consumer use for the most part has been what they call aerated. Uh, you'll see s little small beads of um, of the powdered milk where the stuff from LDS is just a real fine powder. Uh, and I don't know if you can actually pick this up with the camera or not but you'll see little beads and they do that they inject air into it so it actually dissolves faster. Uh, you don't want to take and be uh, you know, having to take and uh, work at dissolving this powdered milk when you're mixing up uh, maybe a, a glass of milk for the kids or something like that. And the LDS stuff doesn't take that much longer, but uh, I guess the uh, consumer uh, drove this to uh, be um, a little different process where they actually aerate it. It looks like this is going to probably be four. Uh, Four of these. I, if it's if it more it goes more than this one right here, what I can do is it may be five. Uh, so we'll do we'll know right about five of these things as a four-pound box. And this stuff is high. I mean, this I know stuff's going up, but geez, and this is kind of nice. But I think in 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 this instance right here, I would be uh, uh, tend to uh, either buy from LDS, which is a lot better price, because this right here is a little bit over two dollars let's see three dollars a pound where the LDS is right at a little bit under two dollars a pound so this is over three dollars the LDS is a little under two dollars a pound all right like I said I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on this video because we're just putting milk in here and uh, I was gonna make some bread and I make bread from powdered milk um, and all, all dry ingredients you know short short of water um, some powdered water somewhere as it's and it, they add water to reconstitute it. So I like the one that guy one day looked at me and said, Really? But anyways, okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half jar mason jars, quart sized mason jars in a four pound box. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna take in real quickly seal up a couple of these uh, with the old food saver uh, just so you know we can uh, demonstrate how to do this because uh, I got my uh, myself uh, in trouble there one day because I did a thinking that people knew how to use the food saver and they actually didn't so okay so we got that snapped in place and and I don't think this is gonna hurt the okay we uh, we're not working here for some odd reason let me take a look see all right let's try this again okay snapped in place okay now that's working guess you have to be a little bit smarter than what the food saver is so and this is non-fat dry milk so it should should have a good shelf life on it can't say what it is for sure but some of the stuff that you buy through the dehydrated, uh, the uh, long-term food storage houses will have uh, stuff already packaged up and ready to go. 
but if you don't want to buy from those people, you just want to take and put small amounts away at a time uh, because of a, maybe a budget constraint or whatever, you can go to Wally World and pick up a box or go to Sam's Club or a Costco and pick up some uh, now and again. Okay, now that you see how to do this, I'm going to go ahead and shut the video off. Say thank you very much for watching all the videos and the, and the comments and everything else. And go ahead and finish sealing these up because once you've seen one sealed, you've seen just about all of them sealed. With that said, this is 775 signing off and saying thank you very much.